from WFAA-TV, the spirit of Texas. This is Good Morning Texas in high definition. Still ahead on GMT, oh. let the baking continue. We'll whip up different <laughs> casseroles for lunch or dinner that will satisfy the appetite for your holiday guests. Our holiday baking day, it continues with casseroles for the hungry guests and family members that you're probably going to have mm, over. Autumn mm. Rio with MamaChallenge.com is here with some great ideas and a fabulous apron, by the it way. It is a nice apron. <laughs> okay, and we're actually going to start with some casseroles because they're pretty easy to make. Right, you want to spend time actually with your family, not spending the entire holiday in the kitchen and away from no your, your guests. So I'm going to come over here. We're going to start off with an eggnog French toast. Okay, so I'll so give you guys some a job here first. Okay. So the first thing is we've actually already torn up our French bread here. So Jane, if you want to put that in there and then put some almonds. Okay. And then for you, I'm uh -huh. going to actually French have crack bread. the eggs. All right. In here. Yes. And okay. I'm going to come over here. here I have a bunch of this red stuff. This is kind of fun. On my hands. I just okay. means you're cooking. That's usually okay. what I look and like is a hot okay. mess, okay. right? Bread and almonds. So put that in there. Almonds. Yep. And you'll, as you're doing that, I'm going to okay. put in the eggnog. So this is a great time to extra, you know, use that extra eggnog. French bread. That's right. Almonds. And almonds. And just leave that in there. And then eggnog, eggs. Yep. We've got a little cinnamon. And we've got some about two tablespoons of brown sugar and some nutmeg. And you guys just blend that together. And if you want to pour that over her mixture, okay. It smells really yes, good. Yes, yes. And Very pour good. that into the bread. Oh, and Jane, right. okay. if you'll go ahead and spray good luck, um, just a little cooking spray in our casserole dish over there. Okay. Your casserole dish, you get all those for Christmas, and then you spray. never know. Yes, ma'am. Far <laughs> and away. There we go. Absolutely. Spray. And we saw, right. I mean, we're, we're at what, 30 seconds that we put that let's together? Go, let's go. Yep. You'll just stir that, put it in there. You'd let it oh. sit overnight if you wanted to mm -hmm. um, to let that egg Sorry. mixture absorb, there, or you yeah. could just let it sit for a couple of hours, and you're done. I mean, all Honestly, you bake it in the oven over here. That's so we made a really okay. quick icing of just your your powdered sugar and milk. Can pour it over. Up? Pour it over there. All right. And, and that's it. I mean, like how easy. That. Christmas how morning, smelling all that. those. Boom, we're yeah, done. Yeah. So we made that easy. Good. Now a couple of other of ones. <laughs> eggs Benedict. So if you want to go a little more upscale, so we've taken eggs Benedict, and rather than having to make all the different individual ones, we've actually do have a layer of English muffin in there, Canadian okay. bacon. If you wanted to add a little asparagus or something you totally could but we went kind of basic on this one lots and lots of cheese we've got a Swiss cheese as well as a Monterey Jack there on the top that's not fattening at all not at no. all because it's during the holidays okay, right the, holidays. the whole holidays and then we serve it with a hollandaise sauce so it's perfect oh, yes it even yeah. less fattening right well if you drink holidays. it yeah yeah yeah, yeah. but then this what one's is this one I am excited about because you could have it for breakfast or you could have it really any time of the day chicken and waffles casserole. Oh, that sounds cool. So okay. we have layers of waffles. So this is, you're going to put your frozen waffles. Okay. Yeah. Fork. Let's go ahead and put this one over here, girls. Um, okay. Chicken and waffles. Wow. And then we so have, of course, a layer of, there is an egg mixture in there that you do bake. Okay. Um, and then you just serve it with your maple syrup. So oh, get after good. it. Okay. Wow. Yeah. While we taste that, uh -huh. explain what we've got yeah, here. So He's this already one, gone into this one. Yeah. We've, we've already had people already have their spoons in this one. Luckily, we made a huge dish so we can have it <laughs> Family style. <laughs> yeah. So this is your turkey spaghetti. So most of you probably have like a family recipe. Mine is actually my grandma's recipe. She just passed. So I'm so excited oh, to get to make this because this is her chicken spaghetti. But we took that turkey we had, you know, from Thanksgiving, mm. froze it because you're like, oh my gosh, I'm kind of done with turkey, but there's tons of it left. You put it, it in the freezer, or you could have, you know, put oh. it together, have it there, and you can have this type of dish any time of the year, and then oh, just yeah. throw in your your rotisserie chicken, your leftover chicken, put it together, and you've got cheese, cream of mushroom. I mean, this is one of those 30 second too yes. and you're done and it looks great everybody loves it and it's those dishes mm -hmm. that people are like oh mom can you make your chicken spaghetti can you make your turkey spaghetti these are the ones that are going to start traditions in your household right, right. you so know that's a good thing because somebody asked me one time they said so what is it that you make that your son comes home and says mom would you yeah. make your blah 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 and I said can't think of anything <laughs> You know, oh, though, Jane. this isn't a dish that I would say, oh my gosh, you have to make this. But then when I started thinking about her and going through her recipe oh, books, oh, those that. were the things that I was like, oh my gosh, that's, it reminded <laughs> me of growing up and Christmas, especially like the eggnog one over there. Oh my gosh, chicken and waffles. Oh it, yeah. Yeah. Well, this is what the holidays are about. A, a nice comfort food around your family. This mm -hmm. is definitely perfect. And, and so be that mom. Be that mom. Who has a dish. <laughs> yeah. Be that mom that has a dish, but it took you 30 seconds to make, right? Okay. You can find the recipe at mom challenge.com and we'll be right back. Thank you.